Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are enjoying the content that I'm putting out. It's a little different because I'm cutting it off and then uploading the second part twos and stuff like that. Um, but those are the videos that was left in my camera. So you're gonna get those videos and then eventually I'm gonna transfer everything on my phone and everything will be uh, a different way and just keep it like that. I just wanna just to make sure I get everything together, okay? But um, I really wanted to come on here and tell y'all how I'm really doing it with four kids, being homeless, and really showing, like really telling y'all the backstory of it. I mean, the backstory, behind the scenes and stuff like that of it. Um, I'm doing better now. I had to constantly take my ADHD medicine. It is critical for me to take my medicine. And I just wanna address some of this stuff too. My brakes is always squeaking. I do want to address some stuff too. I know a lot of people think that since I take medicine, I don't know how to say it without signing, sounding really crazy, but they think I'm really crazy up here. I'm not, I'm not crazy up here because I have ADHD. So it is what it is, but anywho, the bad part of it is that I'm legit a solo mom for right now. And I am take care of business as by myself. Like today, my mom is keeping the baby and the kids. This is like my first free break that I had in so long. So, um, yeah, I'm struggling with that my like bae y'all already know bae my fiance whatever y'all want to call him my hubby um he always provided that for me and now i don't have it so i've been struggling with it i just been struggling and yeah so y'all pray for me my kids has been struggling with it because my kids is used to coming back home to mommy and daddy, not just our mommy or mommy and granny, because granny, she got her own stuff she does. You know, she's not there all of the time, so it's just really me. So now Yori was crying today, saying he want his daddy, he want to go home, so I called his daddy. I'm like, he wants you, man. I already knew it was going to hit Nayori since, like, very sensitive like Nayori is a very sensitive baby toddler or whatever and um so I already knew it was gonna hit him he can feel the change and he started to act a lot different he cannot cope with change and that's what he's dealing with now so baby EJ is crying because he's not used to being gone all day in his car seat all day because even though I have to, you know, go to Walmart, I have to take him with me. You know what I mean? So he's not used to sitting in his car seat a lot. So that's what I'm dealing with. He's crying more. He's more fussy. And and then my ki like Malaysia and RJ, they deal with it well. They're doing better. But Malaysia asked the other day, like, where's daddy? Why we don't ever see daddy? And I even told Malaysia, I broke it down to her. I still don't think that she really grasped what's really going on until it really actually happens. So she's still, she's probably a little bit emotionally struggling with it too because um, she's been not listening. So it's been rough, okay? And then it's me, Esme, um, Nayori in Malaysia is sleeping in the bed and then I, I mean RJ is sleeping on the couch because that's his preference he want to sleep on the couch but I'm asking tonight if he want to sleep in the bed he really just wanted to sleep on the couch and this is what we have to deal with so our schedule looks different for every week 
a few days I stay with my mom and then a few days I stay with Bay um, and his mom. So, I mean a few days out of the week. I think I said that. I stay with his mom. So that's what we're dealing with. And it's a struggle because I have to go to the um to the storage, get five pair of clothes for everybody, including myself. Not taking care of myself because I have to take care of my kids a lot more. And it's a lot it's a lot to struggle. My kids are because they think like at Granny we get to do what we want to do. So when they at Granny House, they feel like they can do what they want to do. So I'm struggling with that too. So it's a big stress ball, okay? And not having my support system with me is even worse. And I and my mom was like, you know, this month should go real fast. It's not going fast enough. It's only the first week. I need it to be faster. And, um, so that is what it is, but yeah, I just wanted to get y'all updated. Um, I had to switch my internet to my mom's internet because her internet is not like my internet, my internet upload videos. Cause I got the high speed internet, um, it upload videos really, really fast. So it's taking me a lot longer for a couple videos to upload. So I have, I'm behind like so many days y'all. It's ridiculous, I'm so behind. But I wanna keep this, this trend up of me doing so many videos within a day, okay? So you guys can have content so you can understand what's going on. And I really want y'all to document our homeless journey. Don't think that I'm not still vlogging because y'all getting old videos. Y'all not getting the homeless videos. It's coming. I just wanted to get all of that out first. Then I will go re return back to doing the homeless videos day. So I got videos that's in my phone. I just, it's like I can never catch up. It just seems like I'm just that behind. But I'm gonna catch up. I'm gonna catch myself up. Even if I have to put 20 videos out. Um, hopefully by tomorrow I should uh have the internet up and running so i can get these going it was taking a three minute video for my mom's internet almost five hours to upload it's ridiculous i could upload it on my phone but um i don't like editing it on my phone unless it's one of these videos but yeah y'all that's all i wanted to come and talk to y'all about i'm going to do hair today so i will see y'all in another one love y'all y'all stay tuned for a whole bunch of more videos i'm not playing when it comes down to this i love y'all deuces